the Joe Rogan experience. Well, how about Dr. Phil, right? Now, here's what's weird about humans and culture. Dr. Phil has been on forever, right? Mm -hmm. Here's a million guests. Mm -hmm. One girl comes on. She's like, catch me outside. And she becomes a multimillionaire. She's huge. She's famous. She sells makeup. She's got a fucking giant billboard on Sunset. I'm going to be honest with you. I listened to her rap album, and it is good. There you go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> She's hypnotizing Tony. Remember South Park made fun of her with Cartman doing that? And I was like, yeah, 15 years? How long ago was Feels that? Feels like it. Where he was her? like the little girl on South Park talking shit. He's like, fuck, I'll do what I want. That's my yeah. body. Yeah. That, that was is a long time ago. Not that long ago. I think she's only like 17 or something now. I don't think we were in this studio when that was happening. Cash me outside? I don't yeah, think. Yeah, no, but I mean the South Park thing was predated her by a, a couple of years. It had to. Oh, okay. So was the South Park thing based on anyone in particular? I think that he just had a lot of girls. Like that was a, a, a typical show. And she just oh, okay. sort of st stood out in the middle of Twitter world and then just right. caught fire. Man. Isn't that weird, though, when something just takes off like that? It's weird how memes take off. Yeah. Like, and things like that. Like what, what things really grab people? Catch me outside. Everybody's like, ah, that's <laughs> yeah. it. You're going to be huge. Yeah. Dude, like she's huge. Oh, look at the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. Oh, my wow. God. I slaughtered five baby seals with my bare hands. Right. Okay. Legend. <laughs> oh, legend show. Legend show. That, that show. One of the greatest like entertainment franchises, whether it's sports, music, m films, yeah. like, greatest franchise ever at South Park. No doubt about it. They get away with so much because it's all cartoons. So they could have people get their head chopped off. <laughs> they could have, get beat to death, lose arms, squirt right out of their armpits because it's so not real looking. Like Canadians, their heads aren't even attached. <laughs> right. <laughs> Their mouths and the, the top, top of your yeah. head. The top of your head just floats in the air. <laughs> it's so crazy that, that they have that for Canadians. That's that's it's so funny, but it's not even that mean. You know what I mean? But, it, but it's so ridiculous that they differentiate. Like they're not even human. They're just different thing. Their fucking heads aren't connected. <laughs> that show's so crazy. That's it's the insane. best show ever. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god south park continues to mock china <laughs> you ever well, seen the they, you know they removed south park from china but see like you can't trick them the way they tricked the nba those guys have plenty of money yeah. like they don't need your money they're there to make this wild ass show and so if you give them a reason like oh you're gonna take away the china money <laughs> <laughs> it's so much money. <laughs> yeah. you, you're not going to stop those guys by cutting off some of the money. And they have almost everything. They almost have an <sighs> EGOT. They're one, yes. one, they're one away from literally accomplishing, you know. Yeah, they've done everything. They've been around forever. They've, they put together a play that's a, a musical. They put together films. I mean, Team America World Police is still to this day one of my all-time favorite comedies. And then before that, the South Park movie. Remember when the South Park movie, when the, the devil was gay for Saddam Hussein? And, like, you see, like, big fake, it, like, it was dicks. You could see his dick. Yeah. Remember? Because, but because it was, like, a cartoon, you're, like, allowed to see a dick. You're, like, this is crazy. You ever seen <laughs> Lemmy Winks, the episode Lemmy Winks? It's Which one's that? Favorite of all time. It's one where uh, Mr. Garrison wants to get fired from his <laughs> jobs that I think they were just paying people or something like that. So he's trying to get fired. So he had Mr. he hired Mr. Slave to come in and try to get him fired. Uh, by doing gay stuff like and then because he found out he could sue the school because if he gets fired for being a gay guy or whatever So eventually as mr. Slave come in and each I'm pretty sure maybe I have this mixed up It's been a long time, but gayer and gayer stuff happens and he's not getting fired Eventually he has mr. Slave shove a gerbil up his ass and all of a sudden the whole thing switches over for the most part and comes back and forth, but it becomes an adventure of Lemmy Winks. He has to make it out of the gay man but he, but he can't but he can't go out of the gates have closed off 
for the sphincter and there's all these like things that happen throughout this show it becomes an adventure piece oh my God. of him he has the gerbil trying to escape <laughs> yeah because he has to go all the way up to get out look he has a little ca- he has a little <gasps> candle, candle on his head, head so he can oh see. my god he's got a headlamp <laughs> oh my what is what is he standing in too like oh, look what's in the right. rectum it's this green fluid with bubbles and chunks floating it's and, and that's another thing he's going by corpses of other gerbils <laughs> on his way out <laughs> <laughs> there are those ah. things in there. Dude, the shit they've had Mrs. Mr. Garrison do is a perfect example of how you could never do anything remotely like this on a regular show. Right. How about when he had a slot off with Britney Spears and he stuffed her up his ass? Oh, my God. <laughs> At the end, to win the slot off, he stuffs Britney Spears up his ass. He climbs on her head and shoves down until she disappears in his ass. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and what they make these people look like too look at oh them. my god oh my god P- please can you just pull up the scene just so tony and i can watch it of yeah. her, the slut off it was paris hilton the, oh it was paris, paris hilton slave. why i think it was britney spears at the same time yeah they've done britney spears with the well, with britney spears they did the whole uh what was it that they ch- kept trying to make her be better or something and they they end up they they want her to keep making albums even though they're driving her crazy Oh. And then by the end, she shoots herself in the head or something like that. Oh and they're God. like, but then they have her in the studio and she can't even make noises with her mouth because oh she blew her head off, basically. Oh, I didn't skip to it. I thought this this was only like a small clip. I thought. It was oh, the, okay. Uh, the whore challenge. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whore off. <laughs> this was season eight. That was 15 years ago. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's just, it's so important for comedy to have a show like that out there that just has no boundaries. There's, and Comedy Central just is smart enough as with all the silliness that they've been accused of. They're smart enough to leave those guys the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. Just let them keep doing it. You know, you've seen Six Days to Air. Yes. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when they had Muhammad? inside a bear costume inside a van with the van door closed and pissed people were still mad <laughs> do you remember that no not exactly is that actually muhammad and they did they went full no. oh no was this recently no. muhammad getting knocked down too. by lincoln <laughs> <sighs> that, no one takes it further than the muslims though like, if you even draw our guy, yeah, this is what if you even draw our guy, death. That's right. He was in a bear costume, costume yeah. too. If you even draw our guy, death. 